Yo, what's up guys? Jeff here. And today we got a DaVinci Resolve tutorial. And we're going to be achieving this orange and teal look right here. Made so popular in movies like Transformers. Shout out to my dog Sam. Hey. And um, I don't think this is Transformers. I feel like this is... What's the movie where they drive around in the cars? Damn it, I can't remember the name. Uh, whatever whatever that movie is um so yeah we're gonna be achieving that look and uh let me just create a new node tree control y for all my windows users out there and then we're just gonna go delete all this and these are gonna be our settings uh this is using um red footage red raw footage and it's pretty dope. This is my first time like actually color grading red footage and like from what I can tell it's definitely worth like the price tag for like what you could do with all like the footage and like everything. You can literally change like the ISO right here. Change the color temperature, all that stuff. It's pretty dope. But um these are the settings we're gonna be using right here. Clip uh color science version two, red dragon color for color space, red log film. This is going to be our ISO 320. And yeah, that's about it for all that. So um, it's going to be what button do you press? Alt S to create a new node. And then uh, we're going to create another one. I'm just going to leave this node empty. And in this node, we're going to do some saturation. So I'm just going to change the label, call it sat. And we're just going to go down here to saturation, global saturation, and just going to add like saturation up to 79. So that's what it did. And we're going to add a new node. And this one, they're going to title white balance. So for this one, we're just gonna try and get our white balance right. So from this image, I'm assuming that this base right here on either side is supposed to be white. And um, her sclera, I think it's called, it's supposed to be white also. So we're just gonna try and get that to be as white as possible using our RGB parade. So we're just gonna go right here to our um, primary bars and uh, just gonna dial it in so we're gonna bring down the red channel to about here and then our green channel to about here and then our blue channel to about Here. Yep, and I think that looks good. And then um oh, let's add another node. We're gonna check oh, we're gonna label this one um contrast. And for that one we're just gonna go right here to our curves and we're gonna make a simple S curve right here. So about there, right here. And as you can see, the image is starting to come together for after. So yeah, Alt S, Alt S again. Um, in this sixth node right here, we're gonna add a LUT. It's gonna be the M31 LUT. Um, I'll have a link in the description where you guys can get that for free, but it's a pretty dope LUT, and we're going to use the log version, and as you can see right now, it's kind of like strong, but we're just going to key it down. If you go to this tab, hit the key, it lets you like bring down the opacity of the node that it's affecting, so we're going to keep it about here. As you can see, that doesn't look that bad, that actually looks really good, but we're just going to 
keep dialing in some different looks to like get it right where we want it. So in this node, we're gonna title it um, look. So this is where we're gonna stylize our image and we're gonna use the primary wheels for that. So we're just gonna dip the shadows in the teal Lift the gamma, which is the mid-tones, into the orange. Reddish orange. Right about there. We're going to leave the highlights alone. And then we're going to offset the entire image a little to orange also. About there. And now we're going to do the same in our log uh, primaries our log color wheels just gonna do practically the same thing shadows into teal mid tones into reddish orange about there and adjust the offset a little bit more yeah and that's looking really good hold on let me see what the previous one looked like So what I'm seeing is uh, we need to go back to the saturation, I mean white balance a little, and fix it up a little. Probably remove some of the green that we have. adjust the contrast a little also probably like bring that down a little bit and bring our shadows down all right and we are almost there ladies and gentlemen uh just hit alt s again after the light and uh, I think I'm just going to bring down the red a little for a saturation in her lips. So I'm just going to title this one Lip Sat. Lip Sap. There we go. And for that, we're just going to go into the curves again, and then we're going to go to hue versus saturation. Going to click the red and just bring it down like about right there. Perfect. And in this tab, uh, we're just going to add a little bit of film grain to finish up the image. Right here. Oh, no, not that one. I'm going to use this film convert. And um, just so you guys can see, we're just going to bring down the film color and bring down the film curve grain we're gonna leave at about 77 and yeah i think we're done and let's just compare that to the old one yep pretty much there pretty dope and let's just look at and compare practically there so we achieve that orange teal look ah fast and the furious all right that's it i think this is fast seven or fast eight whatever number they're on but yeah 
thanks for watching guys um i'm gonna be making this available for download in the description and um if you have any more ideas for future videos like color grading or editing and stuff like that let me know in the description uh i actually like made a bunch of color grades like for this like particular piece of footage so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys uh make this thing full screen so this is the one that we started off with that we just made and then i also have this one this so yeah if you want a uh, tutorial on those color grades or something like this <laughs> this was also on the red user page it's a pretty dope picture like not picture but like piece of footage and then this cowboy it's like this cowboy is like looking outside at a monkey and the monkey is looking at the girl <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching guys uh subscribe for more and i'll catch you next time peace